Hello, good afternoon. It is April the 19th, and I thought I'd give you an update on some things I'm doing. So these are more grape tomatoes that we got the seeds from the grocery store. And you see how far down they are? Well, they make strong plants. Add some soil as they grow, and you will have the strongest root system. And the ones that I showed on the video, there they are. I filled them up, up to their leaves, and all those little hairs along the stems turn into roots. Excuse my hands, so I'll put that back over here. Now these ones are black prints. Uh, these are the first time I've grown these. So again, it's hard to do this when you're holding the your phone. Camera. Okay. And then water them. Although I've just watered all of my plants, so I'll just leave this layer dry. And there's my Mexican hat plant, doing wonderful. And look, that is an nasturtium. And this is germination test. So I don't think that's a root. It doesn't really look right. I guess it could be. I'm just coming from the seed. Yeah, and that one is too. So I'm going to pop them up today. Another newbie. Chinese forget-me-not, alongside of nicotina. So if anybody would like a nicotine or a, a tobacco plant, I'm willing to sell this. And uh, just let me know. And what are these? These are Roma tomatoes. I will fill them up too. Lovely potting soil. Oh. Excellent. And they will be my salsa, tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, plants. And believe it or not, that is a lot of tomatoes. They are so prolific. These are my basil. Yay, I have romaine lettuce up. At the price of salad, believe it or not, eh? Lettuce is uh, good to go. So these are choices. I've pinched the tops yesterday. Right there. And now they'll branch. I think I'd rather just have, I mean, there'll be lots and lots and lots. I don't think I'm going to prune my suckers this year. I am going to let them grow and make as much tomatoes as possible. These here are um, multi, so yellow, yellow bell peppers, as well as there is a multi colored banana pepper in here. So not not each pepper is a multicolored, but they're yellow, orange, and red. So we'll have to wait and see what they turn out like. And these guys, are they even California wonder? Nope. No, oh, those are my jalapenos. Now with peppers, you tend to keep them at the original soil. Uh, 
depth of the stem so you they will not make more roots it'll actually do more harm than good and these are some more peppers i think these are my anaheim yes anaheim are beautiful those little cans of like i told you before those little chili that you get in the little tiny cans that are like over five or six dollars for some uh, really good chicken rice black bean type that's that's the one recipe i have and i love it but the cost of those chilies which makes the taste it's just uh it's too much money too much money off the grocery budget so that's what we're trying to do here yep all right so maybe what we'll do is we will where are they? Let's plant up a nostalgia. Okay, so where's my tweezers? There they are. Right. So we'll put a little hole. Let's see if we can use this. Okay. I'm just going to pick it up because it's so easy to do. Drop it in, root side down, cover it up. And then I just water this guy so it'll be fine. Oh, there's another one coming up. Whew, lucky I missed it. <laughs> anyway, I should have lots of nasturtiums. Nasturtiums are really great. Um, a bug repellent around, I usually put them around my tomatoes and stuff, so they don't like it. And they're absolutely delicious. Very uh, high chef style salads are made sprinkling the petals or the blossoms on top of a, a beautiful salad. They have a, a peppery taste to them, as well as you can eat the leaves. So again, gorgeous gorgeous plant but uh, yeah so the germination test went well all right thanks for joining me gotta go bye